tonight. Hey, what's happening, people? How's it going? Welcome back to K-Wing's Let's Plays, and tonight's Ultimate Select stream is From Russia With Love, James Bond 007, on Nintendo GameCube from 2005. Provided by David. David, yes. This stream is brought to you by Ultimate Channel member, David. Thank you, David, for being an awesome Ultimate member and keeping this channel on the air. You're breathtaking, David. Thank you. Yes. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, hit that notification bell so you never miss an amazing stream or video on Kingwing's Let's Plays. Shaken, not stunned. Is David the one that said he watches the videos afterwards? Yes. Okay, so he might watch this another time. He might not be here today. But whenever you do come by, David, and whenever you're watching this, thank you so much. Sorry. So this is based on one of the uh, best James Bond movies, From Russia With Love. Although I'm more of a Thunderball guy. But... This movie was alright. And of course, uh, Sean Connery oh. reprises his role in this game. What is going on? May I help you? A dry martini. Shaken, not stout. Certainly, Commander Bond. Where is the girl? Elizabeth Stark, the Prime Minister's youngest daughter. We received word half an hour ago there might be another kidnapping attempt. She doesn't appear concerned. Why should she be, with 007 here to protect her? Well, Spectre. They even got his poses right. Oh, wow. The game is over. Mr. Game is over, Mr. Bond. We'll see about that. I think it's just begun. The game's just begun. Yeah. What's amazing is Sean sounds like his younger self, even though he was like in his 80s when he did the recording for this. Oh, wow. Something like that, yeah. All right, then. Okay, so you target people by pressing uh, the L button. You shoot by pressing R. Great times. Like that, pajama wedding fool. Ha ha ha! That's what you get. Well, that's not a way of dealing with that age. Nappy time. Ammo pickup. Leave the girl. All right then. <laughs> Select different weapons. Very nice. Not? Pew pew. Picked up some rounds there, we did. I'm trying to pick up the body armor. Armor is full. Oh. Okay then. Is there a way for me to roll? There shouldn't appear to be any rolling. Let's see. Ah, there it is. Roly poly, as they say in Dark Souls. Ha 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 ha. Yes. Excuse me. All right, let's move on. Sir, they're heading to the roof. Understood. Um. Bond focus. Hold L to lock on, then press B to enter a bond focus mode. Bond focus mode, eh? Nap time. Did you just say boom, boom, boom? Or something else? Flash! What do you think you're going on? I don't think so. Well, hi everyone. Hope you guys are doing great. And I uh, hope everyone's having a great night tonight. Again, this is a an Ultimate Selects provided by David. 
So, um, David actually, I believe, works and does some other things, and so he's very busy. So, he usually watches our streams afterwards. So, um, David, when you're watching this, thank you so much for sponsoring today's stream. You're breathtaking, David. Thank you so much. And, um, we have some questions in the chat, like, what is everyone's favorite, uh, version of Bond? Um, and what is, um, everybody's favorite... Um, who's everyone's favorite Bond? Uh, great, great question, said why, and EBS. I think, uh, our favorite Bonds are Pierce Brosnan and uh, Sean Connery. Yes. For Luke and myself. <laughs> and then, uh, the guy Lickable. who's Bond right now is not uh, too bad. Daniel Craig's uh, tired. Which is the last Bond. Oh. Oh, getting feisty, are we? Have you guys heard of the Project 007 game, says Sons of Gaming, and uh, e an EBS fan was also asking about it? No. I didn't hear about that. Nope, heard nothing of the sort. Your favorite version of Bond is James Bond Jr., said? I never even heard of James Bond Jr. The son of James Bond. Oh, I didn't know that. 80s or 90s thing. Very cool. Uh, okay. Um, cover, press Y uh, for wall cover, press Z to crouch. Or to use it. wall cover. Oh, there we are. Interesting. All right. Oh, the Craig Bond was killed. He was uh, yeeted from the. He's killed in action. Oh yes. wow. Well, it happens. L the character was. Yeah, they'll reboot it. Though. Okay. <laughs> oh, how about Roger Moore? Says Yu-Gi-Oh. Not a big Roger Moore fan. He was um, a bit of a clown. Rebecca also says Roger Moore. So we have some Roger Moore fans. And Pierce Brosnan fans in the chat. EBS loves gaming, says Pierce Brosnan. What about Timothy? How many Timothy Dalton fans? I wasn't one, but I'm just asking. <laughs> You're just putting it out there. Just putting it out there. <laughs> what about old Timothy. Roger. Oh, and James Bond Jr. is a cartoon. Okay, thank yeah. you. All right, I didn't realize that. An animated yes. series says said. Okay. Yes. Thank you, thank you uh, for letting me know. Uh, 80s Seth, or 90s cartoon. You? Yes. Now be very careful where you put your foot because you do not want to hit the Wii. If you do that, then it will dis. It will stop. Okay. Yeah. And um, another question people had was, what's everyone's favorite um, Bond game? Um, my favorite. Uh oh. My daddy's a very powerful man. You know, you can't just go around. Shut up. <laughs> Well, that's one way to stop talking, I suppose. Jetpack through the roof. Um, the world is not enough. N64 says sh Shokata. And Majo says, world is not enough. N64, love that game. Awesome, Majo. Goldeneye, Nightfire. Um, from Russia with love. This game. <laughs> Target. Okay. Target object. Luray says, Sean Connery says, I like Timothy Dalton. Last. Great director. <laughs> Very funny, Luray. One second, please. How do I get to the room? You need this pass key. Give me the pass key then. Thank you. Mm. Look rather fetching tonight. Collect semantics to upgrade weapons and gadgets. All right then. Let's be off. Oh, wow. So. Sons of Gaming is saying Project 007 is a new game made by the people who made Hitman. Wow. I didn't uh, know that. Okay, have a great night, um, Later Gator. Thank you so much for hanging out. I just want to get to the roof. Hmm. Uh. I think we're in the uh, English conduit. Uh oh. Goodbye. Uh, how does one get to the elevator? Oh, I need to go backwards. Just follow my map. I'm very good with following maps. Why, hello there. Have a nice trip. Last, who's shooting at me and why? There you are. Try siphon filter on PS5. 
after from Russia with love. Um, the, um, this you. is an ultimate select. Yeah, it means this was paid for by a sponsor to help support the channel as a channel member at the highest tier. This is not a series. This is just a one-off thing, or unless David wants it to continue in August. Thank you. We have plenty of games that we're covering, but our ultimates are ones that select uh, special streams for us to do once a month. It's it's a, uh, what do you call it? It's a park. That is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is actually um, sponsored. Like, we wouldn't normally play this, but... No, I, uh, I own it. Well, yeah. Actually, Luke would play it on his own, but not stream it. Got to see. Well, that's inconvenient. Alright, roof access succeeded. Now we get the jetpack. I remember this. You liked Moonraker, Rebecca? Very cool. Okay, so jetpack mm. controls. Press A to ascend, B to descend, X while moving to dodge enemy fire. Press A to continue. So A ascends, B, and then A. Okay. Need a lift. <laughs> Larray says, that is one of my favorite movies, young Re Rebecca. <laughs> yep, <laughs> and the Sean Connery voice. Uh-oh. Yep, um, yeah, so just so you guys know, um, this was actually paid for by one of our, um, Ultimate members, so they, they, um, what pay a, a top tier donation to have us play whatever game that they want us to play. So, um, you know, it actually is a donation to actually help the channel tremendously stay on the air, so we don't usually do requests, just so you guys know, um, but thank you guys for suggestions, but we... We really just play new games, and then if if there's a really cool old classic game people want us to play, then you guys have to just be, become an ultimate for that. All right, thank you. Okay. I'm missing all the fun. Literally making people fall off Big Ben. It's amazing. Where is? Oh, there's another person on the jetpack. Well, that was explosive. Ah! Happy landings. Destroy the helicopter. Wait, is this the person who I need to be protecting? Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. I have a license to kill. Over here! So what are your favorite Bond games? Uh, Nightfire, Goldeneye, from Russia with Bob. Oh no. What is your favorite Bond movie? Uh, I'd have to think about that. Thunderball, Golden Eye, Russia with Love, Finger. Ah! Where'd you learn to fly? An embarrassing on your part. Did you get the license to crack a jack box? Mm. No, I like your. Uh, You're on fire! Sean Connery impression the way. It's fine. Oh my gosh, she's literally in there! You can use the rockets... Oh wow, she's in the plane. My version of the Rocketeer. Who are you? The name is Bond. James Bond. Smooth, Bond. Smooth. There we go! Electronics Arts presents... An MGN Interactive... The name is Bond. James Bond. Sean Connery in. From Russia with love. 007, James Bond. And yeah, so Connery was a older gentleman when he um, did this game. In fact, if you get enough points in this game, you can unlock a special um, behind-the-scenes video where Sean Connery tells you how he was approached to do this project and... Uh, how he was thrilled to do it, and uh, he was giving the whole video game thing a try. And the game was actually really good, but it, it just came out in a time where 2005 was kind of like mm, a transition period to more, we'll say, HD games. So this came out in 05. By 06, I believe, is when the PS3 or the Xbox 360 came out, so... GameCube and Xbox and PS2 games were kind of on their way out. 
so this didn't get as much attention as it would have if it released earlier in the life cycle of, um, you know, the GameCube or the PS2. It got kind of overlooked by the next, you know, the next systems. If anything, they should have had this game come out on the Wii and, you know, waited, but... Oh, well. Oh, um, happy birthday, BG Starshine, says... I am happy birth. Hello, Kim's Let's Plays from the birthday girl in a few minutes. Happy awesome, birthday. Awesome, BG Starshine. Have, hope you have a great birthday. A few minutes away is uh, BG Starshine's birthday. Awesome. Yep. Just so you know, there's a lot of um, cutscenes in this game once it okay. gets going. So, you don't want to do too many shout outs. This shows you how many um, levels are in this game. Uh, so we did the, the first level already. We're doing mission two now. Let's be on our way. Agent is fine. And the story continues. Eventually. There we go. New objective, infiltrate the mansion. Okay. All right, hmm. then. What was the last Bond game that we played on this channel? Nightfire. Oh, wow. Stealth attacks. Press Z to stealth walk. When you are behind an enemy, press R to perform a stealth attack. Mm -hmm. Stealth walking. So I wonder how many um, Bond games there were, actually. A lot, probably. How many Bond games there were? There was quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Good night. Oh, thank you. This is my stealth walk. Out for an evening stroll, I am. <laughs> the Z button is not working very well. There it goes. This controller's a bit old. Like me. It's gotta be at least 20 years old. Open the gate. Oh, yeah, it's like an old control. I believe he can see me. <laughs> he laughed at me. Special mode perform stealth attacks, combos, and focus shots to earn more research points. Mm -hmm. Don't need more research points. Whoopsies! I feel so bad for the thug who has white hair. He's, he still has. I guess being a thug doesn't pay very much. Speaking of that, there's one right key up. He's old and he still has to work here. He should switch jobs and become a Walmart greeter. No, they didn't have Walmart back then. And regular, um, what they call them. Oh, yeah. Not grocery stores. They had another name for them. Especially in England. They have a different name for stores. Oh, yeah, they do. Like, market, I think. Yes, market. That's it. Yes, going to market. That's what it is. Peekaboo, I see you. Hello? Mm. Are there any enemies nearby? Da -da -da -da, da -da -da. Ba -da -da. The Z button is not working quite as well as it used to. Oops. Yeah, see? He's, it's kind of... That Oops, it is. tricky. It's very tricky. I actually went into a fish... Oh, actually, a pet store that was really small. But they had a greeter for the pet store, which was really awkward because there was, like, hardly any room. Like... Let, let me ask you a question. What? Was the pet store fishy? Ah! It seemed fishy to me because yes, there was a greeter there. Oh, okay. Ah, now she gets it. That it is. Oh. But I still got it. <laughs> All right. I see what you did there. I'll just flounder about. Radio soldiers. Radio soldiers will call reinforcements. Use bond focus to shoot the radio. Mm. going to shoot the radio. That doesn't seem right. Back up. Oh crap. I'm trying to aim and shoot your radio. Is you in the game? Um, I don't know. Possibly. Um, oh hey, have a good night, um, Omar. Well, so much for stealthiness. Blast! gonna take some time to practice uh, not failing. 
a James Blonde moment. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, definitely scientist, a squid. Yeah, because I didn't get that Luke was saying a joke. My James Blonde moment. How did this guy not hear me? From way over here. Right, well, I'm just gonna talk crap. You're a dead man! Yes, I'm aware. We're well, not actually um, streaming it on the GameCube today, guys. Yes, we are. We are? Yes, we are. Why? Is it really bad? I, I did my best to... Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, we're streaming it on the Wii. Oh, gosh. Please don't touch yeah, it. Yeah, I'm pointing to it because I didn't understand what you... <sighs> yeah, someone was asking, so the GameCube is working now, but we're not streaming it on the GameCube. So basically, games that have released after 2004 tend to stream with no problems. Any GameCube games and PS2 games that were like 2000, 2001, 2002, 2003, and 2004, they have a lot of like mm, issues when it comes to video capturing. Um, but this game and Batman Begins and a few others play fine. It's just there are a couple of them that they just don't... You can see like the quality is the character's not sputtering at all on the screen. That's because they used a different type of, like, um, screen technology. Whereas before, since they were getting closer to high def, um, that's why these capture cards work well with that. But anything before that where they were using a different type of progressive screen something, I don't know the technical terms, but... Video games used to use a different type of, like, um, video format. And those older games just don't video capture well. They cause all kinds of problems. But I have noticed on my personal tests with the GameCube that any game from 2004 or 2005 through 2006 works fine for streaming. Um, anything before that, no. It has the same problems as X-Men Legends. It's very frustrating. And it's unfixable. So if I ever do X-Men Legends again, it'll have to be as a Dolphin emulator. Well, aren't you feisty? There you go. I'm not doing this very stealthy at all. Oh well. This game looks good. So is United Thrive. I've played Bloodstone, so it's United Thrive. Not familiar with Bloodstone. Get some blood from a stone. England's currency is called pounds. Yep. Awesome, Rebecca. Penny for a pound, yes. That's the saying. Who exactly am I looking for? Oh, crap! What is everyone's favorite supporting character? Your favorite is Q? Awesome, said Y. Um, I don't know what my favorite supporting Bond character oh, is. Oh, come off it! Yeah, shoot me! Um, I don't know what Blue Archive is. I'm sorry. Not right. There we are. That's what you get. Stop putting me with bullets, please. I could use a vest. Well, that's not working out well for me. Aha! There's a vest. Well, that's just peachy. I'm going to die. Ah, oh, that it is. Well, that's a little bit better. Not by much, though. I'm in big trouble. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can I break this? No. Oh, awesome. Um, oh, he says I have Goldeneye Rogue Agent on the GameCube, which is the only James Bond game that I have. All right, awesome. Oh, age. very cool. Oh yeah, Goldeneye Rogue Agent. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So in the chat, what uh, Bond games has everyone played in the chat? Lorraine says in Sean Connery voice. Oh, I see. Yes, I see. That's right. <laughs> Lorraine is channeling uh, Sean Connery all night tonight. Uh, channeling no. Oh, blast! This is trouble. This is trouble with a capital T. Mm. 
I forgot how to roly poly. Okay, Meditus. Ben, thank you. Ben the Ro Rosa fan. Okay, Ben, have a good night. I believe we're gonna fail this mission. There's no health power ups. Uh, this uh, is a hey, hey, Blackwing, how's it going? Uh, Blackwing says Bond, James Bond. That's, That's right. That's correct. Shaken, not stirred. Bond games, I've never played any. Oh, okay. Uh, um, oh, all right, no worries, Rebecca. Never okay. seen any of the movies. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, you should be kidding me. Um, Gio was saying that never ah! played any of the James Bond games. Well, that happened. You watched a bit of Skyfall? Awesome, Mr. Maui. You played one James Bond game? Awesome, United Thrive. You, you're a big Bond fan? Awesome, Manjo. I played a lot of the games. Awesome, Manjo. Very cool. Um, have a good night, Ben. Thank you so much for hanging out. This is supposed to be a silencer. What exactly am I? Oh, crap. Let me do the entire level again. That would suck. Oh, never played a single Bond game, but only seen the Brosnan movies so far. Mm. Oh, wow. Well, actually, those are some of the best ones. <laughs> Check out the classics if you can. Uh, Sean Connery and Pierce Brosnan are really good. Yeah. Oh, I see. I got to a checkpoint. This isn't finished. This isn't finished, he said. I think the next person I would watch would be Timothy Dalton. After oh, 80s Bond? Yeah, I think, I mean, I think Timothy Dalton is a great actor. He's got the crazy eyes Angry, angry Bond. Yes. He's got the crazy eyes, but honestly, um, I would say Sean Connery when I first watched one of his movies, I was I was shocked how brutal he was. Like he seems like a nice grandfather voice, like from when I saw grandfather him. Grandfather voice. Well, I mean, I saw him. Uh oh, like, that's a bit of a problem. He always played lovable characters when he was older, but then when he was younger, he was pretty brutal. What lovable characters did he play as an older man? Because I remember him <laughs> being in some pretty intense things, like Red October. Oh, so on, yeah, so. you're right. That was really he was intense. He was a grandfather who would kill you. <laughs> yeah, he did. Yeah, he... he grandfather, he, my loafer. Yeah, you're right. Never mind. Even as an older guy, he was really intense. League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Obviously, that was towards the... That was, like, the last movie he did. That was the one he did before he retired. <laughs> yeah. He could have kept making movies, but he wanted to retire because he saw... He saw something very interesting about Hollywood. What? Well, he realized that comic book movies were going to become, like, mm, the normal, and he didn't want to have a part in it because he was like, it wasn't cinema anymore. Oh, he just wanted to make a movie, like a classic movie. No, he said that comic book movies would kind of, like, derail, like, um, creativity in film. Mm. And, like, he just, he saw that coming, so he was like, after the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, he just, you know, that was it. And even when it came time to reprise his role in, um, what was it, The Crystal Skull? Like the Indiana Jones movie? He asked to be killed off because he wasn't coming out of retirement. So, you know. Sean was smart, but also I really wish, you know, he would have acted for another ten years. He probably would have been in a lot of great movies. Um, which actor said that Luke's is Blackwing? Um, Connery. I believe, yeah, Sean Connery, Blackwing. Because the uh, League of Extraordinary Gentlemen was a superhero movie or a comic book film, and um, the X-Men movies were like box office, like uh, Giants and Spider-Man movies and things like that. Yeah, but if he would, if Sean Connery was still here, he would see that not every movie that makes money is a... Um... He was very, he was very old-fashioned and very like... Um... He definitely had his own opinions old, on Old things. school Hollywood, I would say. Well, uh, yeah, well, well, I mean, I can't remember the first thing I ever saw Sean Connery in. I always remember Probably a Bond movie. people impersonated his voice all the time, and then I saw him in, obviously, uh, when he when he played Indiana Jones' father, that was, like, so epic. That might have been the first movie you ever saw him I in. may have seen him in that first, and then I 
saw him That's a great Bond. introduction to him. Most people saw him as Bond. So to see him in uh, another role before being introduced to his James yeah. Bond role. Well, when I saw the... Uh, I don't remember which Bond Holy movie poly. I was watching. Holy poly. But I saw him, like, kill a guy with a fire poker, and it was like a drag-down fight where they were just beating the tar out of each other and hitting each other with chairs. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And there was just, like... Literally, they looked... Like, it did not seem like they were acting... It literally looked like there were two people fighting to the death in the room. And then he just kind of, like, walked away and, like, made sure he, he kept the... No, he didn't, the, he didn't just walk away. He also said something before he leaves. He made a comment. You have to... It's not a comment. It's called a zinger. Okay. You have well, to, a zinger. A zinger to before after you kill the opponent, yes. And then I was surprised in uh, Sean Connery movies where... So many women would just throw themselves at him. Well, that was part of the the appeal of the character. I know they would just be like, you know, you know, you women said want you, him, you'd men come want around to be like Bond, him. and he's just like, it's almost like it's almost like they. Oh, it's literally he didn't have to do anything. So much for stealth. Like he didn't have to be charming or anything. They're just like literally throwing themselves at him. If they can't hear me, they're deaf. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. now using an AK-47, basically. I mean, honestly, the way he, uh, way that Sean Connery played Bond, I was just like, wow. <laughs> Hardcore. <laughs> uh, he really seemed like he was, like, really a spy, kind of, you know. Which, that's what he was playing. Played a lot of spies. Very, very violent, let's just say. I know, but I still feel he retired way too young. Yeah. Like, it he feels, done so it many feels like he had an old man hissy fit. Oh no, I think the first movie I ever Ouch! saw Sean Connery was The Hunt for Red October. I think that was my, and that was one of my favorite movies ever. So good. In some other universe, League of Extraordinary Gentlemen was a hit, and Connery still kept making movies. That movie, my main issue with that movie was the weird vampire lady. What was going on with her? It was just so awkward. Weird vampire lady? What do you yeah, mean? Yeah, the lady. There was a lady there who was a vampire, and what she movie? Would, in the Extra League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Oh, I don't remember that movie. That movie was. I, I watched bad. it. I watched it the whole way through because I. It was that like movie free. was straight up it, cringe. I I watched the whole movie all the way through, and oh it was my free gosh. on like Prime, and oh. and I just thought like I've never seen this. This is so cool, and. I watched it and there was just so many awkward cringe moments to it. It was super cringe. But I would say the main issue was the vampire lady. She was just like, if you would have taken her out of the movie, the movie would have been 90 times better because it was just weird. Well, this is gonna it, be it also was... Like, she was... You're the perimeter. Can I shoot people through this? She was just really weird. Engaging! Flash! They can shoot me through it! Well, that's not nice. I'm not doing very well with this at all. I'm all out of ammo. That's fantastic. All oh, the us. ones you have watched said are uh, uh, No Time to Die, Casino Royale, and Cartoon James Bond. Okay, awesome said. Very cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He appeared in Indiana Jones in the Last Crusade. That's right, Luray. Yep, very cool. Makes sense that I could shoot through the iron gate, though. Timmy said, uh, Timmy Sailor Venus says, I hated that Sean Connery and Roger Moore passed away. They were really good bonds. May they rest in peace. Uh, Black Moon says, have you seen any of the Roger Moore movies? I have not. I have seen all the Roger Moore movies. He was too much of a, he was the Adam West of bonds. Basically. I, I would say that in, in terms of, like, going, like, Batman route, like, uh, more or less, I would say that um, Connery is Keaton. Roger Moore is kind of like Clooney, or maybe Val. No, he's he's more like Clooney. Uh, his movies got really weird. He did like one or two serious James Bond movies, and all the rest of them were just like really, really hardcore camp. So he's Adam West. Um, I would say that Dalton would be kind of like um, maybe Affleck. And then uh, Pierce Brosnan would be like Bale, and um, uh, Sean Connery's Keaton. I don't, I don't know who uh, 
who, who, like, I guess. No, Sean Connery is. What Batman is that? The oh right, no, people? no, Kilmore, Kilmore. Hang on, hang on. So Keaton would be Connery. Uh, Roger Moore would be uh, Clooney. Um, Val Kilmer would be. Um, what's his face? Probably Timothy Dalton. Um, no, it it's okay, guys. You can repeat your comments again if I didn't see them. Blast! There's no problem as long as you're not repeating them over and over again. Where did you come from? It's okay. This is not right. No! Ugh. Riddled with bullets. Hmm. Yep, um, Pierce Brosnan Bond will be playing Dr. Fate. Yep, exactly. Yes, Pierce, Pierce is back. Oh no, you guys didn't, um, it's okay, Said did exactly what I asked. If I, if I didn't see his comment, he just said the same comment again. Whoops, I don't even see how I did that. That's fine. Uh, so again, these are the older games, so... Well, that's not right. Yeah. Why is James Bond not in Fortnite? It says Geo. I don't know. It's an excellent question. I, would, I mean, he has a, a firearm. I mean, it wouldn't... Maybe because... I don't know. That's a good question. I mean, do they have a lot of... Um, I don't know. Are the, are the movies... Modern James Bond movies rated PG-13 or no? Modern ones? They're all PG-13. Oh, they are? They've always I... been PG-13. The one I watched with Sean Connery didn't look like PG-13 to me. They're all PG-13. That was pretty violent. Actually, I'm... it would have been PG back then. Even the modern ones with Daniel Craig are PG-13? Yes. Where the guy gets eaten by a Komodo dragon? Yes. And then he almost, like, gets yeeted at the bottom of the stairs by somebody attacking him? Yes. And then has a nervous breakdown? Yes. That's PG-13? Yes. Oh, oh crap! That does not seem PG-13 to me. Oh, this is great. Oh, this is a problem. How are you able to take so many shots to the chest? Oh, whatever. I'm about to get on the movie board and change the movie ratings because that did not seem PG-13 to me. It's PG-13. It just is. Whether you agree or not, it's PG-13. Well, that did not go well at all. Oh, the siphon filter on our gun? Uh, uh, siphon filter? Sh Shokata? How is Zelda doing? I think she's doing okay. After in Her Majesty's Secret Service, James Bond never risk marrying another Bond girl again. Oh right, That's definitely O H. Yeah, he gets. Uh, I believe he's married, or he want, or he's going to get married in this. Well, that's not right. Would Daniel Craig be more Christian Bale or Ben Affleck? Um, I'm not sure. Sad. Hiding over there. What is he hiding? What am I hiding? I mean, I would like to watch the Roger Moore movies, I guess, but I would be more interested in Timothy Dalton because I saw a few scenes with him and I was like, whoa, what's going on here? This guy's got crazy eyes. Look at that. Very I intense. Shoot right through the Iron Gate. And plus, Timothy Dalton was amazing in The Rocketeer. Well, that's not right. And Timothy Dalton played on Jane Eyre. He played uh, the lead in that. Come on, then. Come on. Let's not beat around the bush. Um, are the modern Bond movies canon to the original? I He's believe so. Corner. Um, they're all based on the books. So, like, it won't change the story. The books are what all the movies are based on. So they're not like the movies don't go based off of like each other, like the Star Wars universe, which bends and weaves to the whim of the people making the movies. Um, the James Bond universe goes based on the books that were already written. They'll reboot him again. So, you know, they can just keep taking. Um, Daniel Craig is the only one to ever die in action. 
so I'll just keep taking stories from the James Bond book. Like Casino Royale, I think was done twice. Two different times. What's going on here? Stop that. Um, as far as I remember, Casino Royale was done by somebody who was not John Connery. But John Connery was gonna quit, and then he saw Casino Royale, and then he started doing it again. Nope, nope, you got it okay. wrong. You got it wrong. Right. I'll explain. So he quit because he didn't want to be typecast. And then they brought in George Lazenby for the In His Majesty's Secret Service, the one oh. where James Bond gets married. Oh. James Bond's wife dies, and then, based on how uh, badly uh, Connery's roles did afterwards, he came back to do, uh, I think it was Diamonds Are Forever, and uh, he liked the script, he came back and he killed Blofeld for like the 19th time, and uh, then he retired, and uh, Roger Moore took over. But Moore uh, did some things that Connery didn't like with Bond. So then Bond came back and made another Bond movie in the 80s at the same time as Octopussy with Roger Moore. So there were two Bond movies at the same time. But one was recognized as Bond canon, and the other was not. And basically the Connery one was an elder James Bond, and uh, he was retired, and basically it was a remake of Thunderball. It was okay, but it wasn't great. In fact, I think either Octopussy or the other one was a better Bond movie. But I saw both of them. Um, and my dad was pretty excited to have two Bond movies happen the same year. But uh, mm. one was officially canon, and one was by the people that worked on the Bond movies with Sean Connery. Um, but it wasn't a Ian Fleming movie, so it wasn't official. And then basically the Bond Canton went all the way until Goldeneye, and then Goldeneye was a reboot. Yeah, I, one of the Daniel Craig movies was really intense, and I was like crying all after the it. Very intense. I think it was either Casino Royale, or did he do... He did one where he got married in that one. Well, oh, Daniel Craig did one. I Casino thought Royale was the first. Technically, uh, Sean Connery is not the first Bond. He's the second. There was another Bond before oh, Sean Connery. Right, a guy who did Casino Royale. The guy who did Casino Royale, and then Originally. they and then they brought in uh, Connery to do all the Bond movies. And after then they that. redid Casino Royale years later with Daniel Craig. Right. And basically, some of the movies that um, Daniel Craig did are based on different Bond books. How can you see me hiding behind this? Is there someone behind me? No, there's not. How in the world did you see me? I am inconspicuous behind this vase. Well, that's... But for the Daniel Craig movies, they changed... I think M is supposed to be a guy, and they changed it to... Nope, lady. incorrect. M was uh, a M woman. M is always a lady? M was a woman in the um, Pierce Brosnan movies. Oh, right. It was the same actress, so it changed it for Pierce Brosnan. Right. But before Pierce Brosnan, M was a guy. Yes. Even the very first Pierce Brosnan movie, I believe M was a man. And then he retired, and then you had M. Judy, but Money Judy Penny, Dench. Money Penny was always a girl. Money, yes, of course. Why would Money Penny be a man? That doesn't make any sense. I know. I'm just, I'm just trying to keep this straight here. That's fine. I'm not doing very well at all here. Whoops. You got your voice down though. Sounds cute. You got the voice down, yes, but my gameplay's not very good. <laughs> Honestly, I know I'm gonna sound stupid when I say this, but. Compared to watching Pierce Brosnan bronze, uh, that Pierce Brosnan bronze, Pierce, Pierce Brosnan, Brosnan bond. bond. <laughs> what does bronze have to do with bond? Compared to watching Pierce Brosnan bond, just say 007. When I saw Sean Connery after that as Bond, I thought I was watching a documentary, like behind the scenes footage of a person actually killing somebody because his like. Fight scenes were so intense, I literally was about to leave the room. Like, I'd never seen anything like that on film, ever. And I'd seen R-rated films, and I'd never seen anyone that looked like... He looked like he was actually killing somebody. Did you know that the Connery... It was the scariest thing I've ever seen. Double O Seven movies with Connery are actually longer 
than some of the other Bond movies. Yeah. Well, I, would, I mean, if you guys are new to Bond and have never seen, I would watch Pierce Brosnan. Flash! Sean Connery is pretty hardcore. Did you just do a cheap karate? And then after he killed the guy, he just looked at him and kind of like walked away and... Oh, that's right, he said something. But it was like freaking scary, honestly. It's supposed to be freaking scary. And it was. I was scared to death. If he came out of the screen and like came into my house, I would have run screaming. The guy was really scary. Blast! Man is using a sniper rifle. Oh, not this section. Well, that's not good. Ah! Stay down! Get that roly poly going! Empty the clip into him, he still didn't die! There we go, there's the roly poly. Whoa! Not going very well here. I like my martini shaking and not stuff, not my blood! Oh, thank you so much, Gio. Really appreciate that. Right, enough of this noise. Which one would be the Dark Knight Rises in the Bond movies? I'm not sure, Sad. I'm, That's a good it was, question. It was hard for me to uh, <laughs> think with all the shooting around. Please put your hand mm. down. Let's distract me. Please. Mm. Ask me nicely. Words. That's right, Sons of Gaming. It's hard to say words. Um, yep, they're, uh, it's based off of books. James Bond films are based off of books. Bond books. I've never read them, but... Mm. I've never read a Bond book. Just seen the movies. Holy yeah, poly! but it is kind of nice that they're based off of the books, because then you kind of know they're generally going to follow the books. What's that? We kind of canon with each other. In the world does that even? I'm not a very good spy. Guess I could try to leap over this. I didn't really. I didn't really see oh, it. Sorry. I've only watched Pierce Brosnan and um and uh, Sean Connery. Uh, would you say Craig's portrayal of Bond can be more of a tough guy, Hollywood hero, or more of a solid snake portrayal? Says said. Um, I've only seen a couple of Daniel Craig's movies. Oh, right, Daniel Craig. Oh, yeah, I did see Daniel Craig. You saw Craig. Uh, would you say he's more of a solid snake? Um, or Hollywood hero? He's, like, hardcore, like, Conray, kind of. He's very hardcore. He's, uh, he's mixed between Conray and Pierce Brosnan. Brosnan was kind of like the perfect balance of Bond. Comedic and action back. Very, very... He was born to play Bond. Daniel Craig is, like... Daniel Craig is a Bond after 9-11. <laughs> yeah, Daniel Craig is like a shell-shocked Bond. There's a lot of scenes with him with like soulless eyes where he basically... It just basically shows that he just has... Like he's just... Ba it basically looks like a Bond where he's just like getting by every day. Pierce Brosnan is what Bond was like before 9-11. Um, it, Daniel Craig I would is say after. Daniel Craig is a very broken Bond. Mm -hmm. Like he's a broken individual. Watch like, when you watch his movie, it feels like Bond is just. Well, this is not help. No, oh! stop shooting. I'm ready to go inside the building now. So maybe he's like Dan. Ba Bad luck, maybe. I died! Oops. It's not on. Record time, Mr. Grant. You are indeed the killer I'm looking for. When do I get to kill the real James Bond? After he steals from the Russians their new Lector decoding machine. And Bond is going to do it for us. We assume that's who MI6 will send. There is a girl in the Russian consulate in Istanbul, Tatiana Romanova. 
who I've ordered to help. She believes I am still with KGB. Won't well, tell my six suspect it's a trap. My reading of the British mentality is that they always see a trap as a challenge. And then you can avenge the death of our Dr. No. Let Bond's death be a particularly unpleasant and humiliating. I look forward to it. And for my next miracle? You're going to need a miracle, James, to explain where you've been all Money, Penny. Let me tell you the secret of the world. You'll have time for that later, 007. Step into my office immediately. Why am I kneeling? Thank you for the super chat, ADHD. Why exactly am I kneeling? Yep, I guess that bond was a fake, um... Uh, OH. Yeah, what we meant was, um, I guess there was a Bond movie released after 2001, but by somebody else, but, um, uh, good point, Majo. But I guess, um, what we're saying is, like, it, he has the feeling of somebody who's living after 9 11. Yes. Um, he's just very broken and kind of surviving. Brosnan's last Bond movie, which was, I believe, in 03, was really dark. But I've um, never even and heard he of wanted Tatiana to keep Romano. doing the Bond movies, but they and said he was too old. Do yeah. fall in love with pictures of film stars. But not a Russian cipher clerk with a file photo of a British agent. Ridiculous, isn't it? No. It's some sort of trap. Precisely. And the bait is a brand new lector, a Soviet decoder machine. The CIA has been after one of those for years. And so have we. When she contacted Kerim Bey, head of Station T in Turkey, she said she wanted to defect, and she'd turn over the lector to us on one condition, that you went to Istanbul and brought her and the machine back to England. The whole thing is so fantastic, it just might be true. You're booked on the A30 flight to Istanbul. Q is waiting for you. Classic Q. Hmm. Receive briefing from M. Okay. Get out of my office. Well, that's not very nice. You have your orders, 007. Move along. You have your orders, 007. Move along. NPC says what? Time to go, 007. Oh, I see. You're changing it up a little bit. Get out of my office. Well, someone's getting nut. You know what? You're not getting a fruitcake for Christmas this year. I'll just give you some coal. With oh, that coal demeanor of yours. What about Tom Hiddleston for James Bond? Maybe. Um, I mean, I don't know. Are they going to have him as James Bond? Yeah, they're recasting James Bond. They should have um Henry Cavill. Cavill's basically like a Pierce Brosnan guy. He's wanted to do Bond his whole life, just like um, mm. uh, what's his name? Pierce Brosnan wanted to do Bond his whole life. That's why I he did Remington Steel. I would love to see Henry Cavill as James Bond, but I would be okay with Tom Hiddleston. Get doing down it. to Q Lab, you. Get down to Q Lab, you. All right, I'm going down to Q Lab. That was Money Penny, right? Yes, that was Money Penny. On our desktops and be able to communicate on them. They're talking about the future, which is computers. You catch that? Oh wow. How many agents are there other than James Bond? Um, there's probably a lot of agents, but. Double O agents? The, the, the 100. Oh, there's 100 double O agents? Yes. Good morning, Devil L7. Oh, good morning, Q. How have you been? Busy inventing things? Not as busy as you've been destroying them. Follow me, Devil 7 and try not to break anything. MI6 base. Yep, we remember Q uh, said, and I believe uh, this is Q right here. Uh, this is the original Q. So here we go. We've got, and uh, Macho is letting people know. Remember, if you guys forgot, this is the 60s. Yep, this is the 60s. So before the computer age, before the 80s. No, they had computers. They, they just were not. They were massive. They were huge. Pay attention, okay. 007. Just not desktops. Remind Who wouldn't have personal computers? This is a rappel belt what? with a grapple and rope that will allow you to scale walls. I can't see anything, Q. Oh, there it is. 
Well, that doesn't look like it's going to help me very much. Are you all right in there? Mm. He's, he's dusting himself off. Well, that makes sense. All right. I'll go check out uh, some of the other kooky experiments. What's this? Ah, this is how Typical I exit. Typical terrorist situation, 007. There's a bomb somewhere in the training area. You have to find it, equipped only with your laser watch and guns. What is this? Use your laser watch to target objects through bulletproof glass. Well, this is interesting. Mm -hmm. It's locked. Oh, you like the original uh, Father of the Bride with Steve Martin? That's awesome, Rebecca. Locked the wall. I forgot who Eric Bana is, um, Shokata. Eric Bana is James Bond. Eric Bana? They should cast Tom Holland for James Bond Jr.? Um, I don't know. Maybe. Let's, let's I stop. <laughs> Maybe, uh, said why. I, I don't know, though. Laser watch. I mean, I mean, if they wanted to do a James, James Bond Jr., I've never seen a cartoon or animated series of James Bond Jr., so I don't really know what the character is like. But, yeah, I mean, if Tom Holland wanted to do that, definitely. I'm supposed to go through the glass. Oh. <laughs> Sons of Gaming says, but they already made him Nathan Drake Jr. That's right. <laughs> Yeah. That's how you get through the door. Yeah, I forgot. So they had computers in the 60s, what? but they were... Yeah, the 50s were kind of the computer age. Like, when they started making computers. Well, that's but, not very nice. But they would not... You would not have a desktop. There would be, like, a computer that would fill a room. And you would learn about computers at school, but you would never see them. Like, you wouldn't really... See them in the school. Tip over the desk. That would have been nice. Okay, well. We'll be gone. Uh oh, watch out. Stop shooting at me! This is my best dress suit. I like wearing gray suits in 360. Yeah, what was sad about uh, Pierce Brosnan is they got rid of him, said he was old, and Daniel Craig was super old when they hired him. No, he wasn't. Oh, really? He just looked old. Wow, Sorry. Amber. I thought he was really old when they hired him, but I guess he was just like... I guess he just looked... Because Pierce Brosnan looked really young. Mm. Chris Pratt, the new Bond, says Sammy. Yes! <laughs> be... I mean... Why not? It actually might work. I don't know. Never know. Won't know till you try. Better than making Bond a woman. How to kill your franchise. <laughs> James yeah, Bond's gender. Well, I mean, a lot of ladies watch the James Bond movies to, like, you know, see a hardcore guy, you know, doing all kinds of hardcore stuff. So, honestly, I think it would kind of take away the female audience from watching James Bond. If they made her, if they made him a girl. <laughs> uh, wait, as I remember, there are many double O agents. There's an entire section of them. They get briefed in the Thunderball. Alec Trevelyan was double six, double nine, puts the bullets in Renard's head, and so on. Okay, thank you. 100 double O. Oh, wow, Monto. Oh, it was double O seven, the code name, not James Bond. That was a, a woman. Okay. Unlock an inventory screen to earn research points. What about James, uh, Dwayne Johnson as Bond? I mean... He's not British. Yeah, they need British people. Henry Cavill is British. Yeah. And also, Henry Cavill got turned away from Bond, saying that he had too many muscles. I believe. I thought they said that. I think that's what they said. I don't remember. Which is weird. So, I mean, if he has too many muscles, then The Rock would definitely have too many muscles. But Nicholas Holt should be the next Bond. I don't really know all these actors. I'm sorry. 
Can double seven night fire the used pure fraud Brosnan's look but not his voice? Oh wow. Carl yep. Henry. Yep. That's interesting. He did. Goku is James Bond, says Geo. <laughs> LOL. Goku is James Bond. <laughs> mm. I'm Bond. James Bond. That's not how Goku sounds. Goku sounds like he has a cold. There you go. I'm James Bond. <laughs> Piccolo. Are you Q? <laughs> Quiet. I, I can't do. Can't do Vegeta. Have him talk to Vegeta. I'm not your Q, you stupid clown. <laughs> now listen to the mission briefing before we begin. <laughs> Kakarot, stop touching that. <laughs> what does this button do? Oh, you've doomed us all. I don't get paid enough for this. Wow! Is this watch a laser? Or is it a magnet? Can I eat this? <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright, we're gonna tip this over here. Thank you, Luke. That made our night. Thank you so much. Welcome. Happy to help. Vegeta 007. It appears that I have completed Q's little quest. I think. Wouldn't shooting that with a laser be a bad idea? Uh, solid Snake as James Bond would be perfect? Um, probably. Solid Snake is good as Solid Snake. <laughs> Use laser watch. There mm. we are. Congratulations, 007. Your training is complete. Now use this device to get yourself to Istanbul. An airline ticket. I'm a genius. I expect you to return my equipment, along with the Lector device, in pristine condition. I'll bring it back. From Russia with love. You said the line. As familiar as James Bond says, the United Thrive. Uh, Lilo is very good uh, at running away from authorities, so we'd make a great spy. Snake Eyes would make a great bond, says so Sammy. Um, we have seen. Oh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. Said the line. The Ray is being Naruto as Bond. Uh, I don't know how to do Naruto's voice. Come on, Sasuke, let's take out the bad guys with our guns. Believe it. Mm. <laughs> Thank you, Luray. All right, off to mission three. Mm. Wow, the, movie, the music is really good. Yes. Istanbul, part one. Actually, Agent. I have like several more Sean Connery Bond movies in my... In my queue of movies to ah, watch. I see what you did there. I didn't mean to say it. Alright, alright. Cutscene time. Can I borrow a match? Oh, I use a lighter. It's better still. Until they go wrong. Welcome to Istanbul, Mr. Bond. Your transportation is here, sir. Mm -hmm. James, my friend. Cool. How nice to see you. Karen Bay. It's been too long. Interesting car. Limited edition? Your man Q sent it ahead. Warned me not to touch any of the buttons. You were wise to take his advice. Otherwise, you might not live to regret it. Come. They're waiting for us at Station T. I'll drive. Even though I don't know the way around, I'm gonna drive anyway. There we go. Driving level. Oh, nice. Okay, driving. A, B, guns, emergency brake. Okay. Guns. I suppose it's customary to have people tailing you in these parts. It's only the Russians. They follow us, we follow them. It's sort of an understanding we have. That's very friendly. So, let's talk about this business of yours. And thinks I'm wasting my time here. And so do I. But if there's a chance of getting the letter, it's worth it. Sorry, sorry. Probably not the right way of meeting. <laughs> I thought this guy was gonna have a calm conversation with you. He seems to have been quiet now. 
I think he's scared of my driving. <laughs> oh. I'm terrified of my driving. Okay, you need to take a right. I think you're supposed to go towards the dot. Which dot? The blue dot. Oh dear. He's not going to be happy with me at all. <laughs> Alright, take a left and then go right. There you go. This, this way. Oh no, this is wrong. Just turn around, please. It appears that I broke a few blinkers. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is not going very right, well. Now, now take a right. No. All right, now take a right. That one. Okay, you should be going the right way. So. Not really sure, what are you? Mm -hmm. Well, that's bad. Mm -hmm. Oh, the car got fixed. Or not. Friends like that. It appears that your truce with the Russians has just ended. But I didn't order an attack. Then who did? I don't know. But the Russians are going to blame us. You'd best get us out of here. Well, that's not great. Okay, uh, you can lock on with missiles. Press R to fire weapons. Y to tire punch. Oh, ho, ho, ho. It's like a, punch. Yes, yeah, mini Batmobile. L R Y. L. Okay. One of the coolest things about James Bond is car. Yes. Which honestly, I think uh, uh, Mr. Incredible, I think, was trying to make this car like it was based off of James Bond. Shot was very clear about that. And oh, Pixar was good. We need to slow the Russians down. Maybe you can use one of your fancy toys to destroy their garage. Assuming they don't destroy this car first. If we need repairs, there's no, a mechanic I'll do that in town that will gladly aid us. He owes me many favors. I'm trying to drive here! Rude. Fine, you're going this way, I'll go the other way. Oh, the red dot. Well, that didn't work. Excuse me. Mind me. Whoopsies. Explosive, isn't it? I just want to shoot a rocket ball. Oh, no. Oh, that's not it. Next button? No. That's my tire pump. Oh, the missile one. I wasn't really paying attention to the name. Um, I don't remember what the missile things are. Rocket launchers. Oh, I, I think I should go through. Alright, going down this way. Yeah, I guess we can try going for the blue dot. I don't know. This was your effort there. The blue thing was the blue dot. Where are you going here? Ah, it's a repair shop. Now we're cooking. Oh, so maybe you do need to go for the blue dot. Unbreakable because it's made of vibranium. Oh wow, is that? Interesting. There's gotta be a way to shoot missiles. Istanbul. Excuse me. Kirby voice for James Bond. Definitely Timmy. My car's not working very well anymore. Oh! Yep, and you got the tiny suit. 
in a power of James Bond power up, definitely uh Sammy Sam right now. Yep. <laughs> Please stop shooting at me. There's still a jet lag. Oh. Kirby. Puyo, puyo. Translation and James Bond. Very funny, Gio. I wish there was oil slick and smoke screen in this game to so, uh, show Kaka. That's the other Bond game. The one with Brosnan. Oh wow, interesting Tony Down oh. Under says, Hey Wings, the composer of who Brad Bird really wanted for The Incredibles was actually John Barry, who was the composer for 11 Bond films, including From Russia With Love. Wow. Wow, I didn't know that um, Tony Down Under. Very cool. Thank you. Okay, good night, uh, good night to me. Well, that's one way of getting inside the garage. Thank you so much for hanging out, Timmy. Really appreciate that. Have a great night, Timmy Sailor Venus fan. Tosin is making, uh, short work of my vehicle. Oh! Destroy the Russian garage, says Mondo. The Russian garage? Why are they in a hurry? Ma! Huh? Why are they Russian? Yeah. They want to take my advice, so slow down. Who's in such a hurry, those Russians? And Kirby's favorite thing to say is Poyo Poyo. Translation. Kings are the best. Aw, you're the best, Geo. Thank you so much. I don't mind the red garage. Who's the big bad from Russia with love? Arnold Schwarzenegger? I just want to destroy the garage. Yeah, might be the big bad from... Uh, yep, very funny said. <laughs> Remember this. All right. Then. Yeah, good night. I'm going to take your medicine. You already got the kitten, right? Yes. I need to heal my car now. Whoa! Great, they got a tank! Something tells me they're serious about this, James. Is there another way to the station? No. We have to get past the tank. Can you do it? It's difficult, but not insurmountable. Wait here. You want me to go? <laughs> now comes the part where I climb up like this. Yes, I need my phone. Stop or I'll shoot. Negotiations have failed. You can plug it into the switch or you can... Uh... Yes, you need to plug it into the switch, please. It'll charge. It'll take a while, but it will charge. Thank you. Mm. Mm -hmm. Rappel down. Night, sweetie. Hello. Should I rappel up?
probably do with a silencer. Holy poly! I don't know what's good for me. Night. And where did the tank go? Good night, Ambat. Good night. Found some PB7 rounds. Wasn't a very good roly poly. Am I out of ammo? Flash. How many shots to the chest can you take? Quite a few, it seems. They seem to have perfected that after just one try. Oh, for close range. Shotgun. Hello there. You are a dead man. I'm sorry, what were you saying? I can't hear you over the sound of your corpse. Three shots left. Thank you. Hmm. Things appear to be a bit dangerous. And I was told this symbol was nice this time of year. Well, going up. You missed! You wanna try again? It's amazing you can't hit me up here. You are not the master of roly poly. I am! Look at this! You're just jealous. Who's jelly now? Apparently you are. There's one way to make an exit. Thank you for the body armor. Appreciate it. No sightseeing on the terrace. Want some more? I'm afraid we're all out of humble pie. Hello, what do we have here? Unlock inventory screen to earn research points. Very nice. the tank not turn around and actually hit me? This doesn't make any sense. Literally be Swiss cheese right now. There's one way to take out of the tank. 
Outstanding, 007. A bit over the top, but well done. Now, on to Station T. That was the mission, was it? Interesting. On the mission four, then. Let's see. Yes. All right, existing. Yes, I would do that. That's fine. Appreciate it. Don't jump Welcome up now, okay. Station T, James. From the Constantinople era. You know your history. I've always been interested in the rise and fall of civilizations and pre preventing the downfall of ours. Again, what happened? The Russians stormed the building. The brick bomb explode. Have they taken hostages? Yes, several. I'm going in. Well, negotiations have once again failed. Means it's up to me. My elite combat skills. Goodbye. Time for me to be Spider-Man. Shouldn't you be speaking Russian? Why are you speaking English? The Q-Copter. Use the Q-Copter to access vents to open doors and press R to detonate the Q-Copter. Alright. Don't really have the Q-Copter. Well, that's not what I wanted to do. Also not what I wanted to do. That it is. Look at how tiny it is. Whoops. I may have broken it. There's one. Well, this is not quite. You know what? I need to do this again. Can I really start this mission, please. Yes. I wasn't paying attention to. Um. I just need to restart this level. Welcome to Station T, James. From the Constantinople era. You know your history. I've always been interested in the rise and fall of civilizations and preventing the downfall of ours. Again? What happened? The Russians stormed the building. They've rigged bombs to explode. Have they taken hostages? Yes, several. I'm going in. All right. This time I'll try to pay attention to what they're saying. You leave if you know what's good for you. Sorry, had to get my kicks in. Judo chop. Need to pay attention very carefully to how to use the Q copter. There it is. Uh, use the Q copter to access vents to open doors. Press R to detonate. But how do I fly with it? That's all I was asking. How do I move it up? Down. Ah, there we are. Oh, 
Wait. Well, this is not working out. Time to vent some frustrations with the Russians. Nice and easy. Easy now. Get a bird's eye view. Am I supposed to kill you? Or am I supposed to open a door? What on earth? Well, that's not right. This is going to be an inconvenience. Nice and easy. Try this again. You make enough noise, helicopter. There's one way to handle the door. Time to make my explosive entrance. Someone please help. Working on it. How dare you take hostages? Whoops, sorry, that's a hostage. Thank heavens you came. Yes, well, that's what I do. I don't see how you're really safe hanging out over there, but whatever you want to do. You do you. Apparently we got some bulletproof glass over here. Hmm. Yes, I didn't think that would work. Is that another place for me to send my helicopter? No, there is not. Well then. Ah! Sorry! Why does the t-shirt mean he's stronger? Anything wearing less clothes would be easy to make. You know what, it's fine. This level looks exactly the same as the British, uh, opening level. Appears to be no one inside here. Hello there. What do we have here? Nothing of interest. Surprise! That's what you get. You didn't practice proper decorum. You put a bomb here! You have the audacity to put bombs. I got my work cut out for me, don't I? Flash! The other one! The one on the radio! This is a problem. Um, yes, I'll quit this, thank you. Oh! Well, that didn't work. Make me start all over? Well, that's just peachy. And you won't get a shot. You got a shot. Down for the count. 
Yes, we have to climb the walls all over again. I'm well aware of this. Next time we should send our little helicopter friend. Sense of deja vu. Uh oh. Don't mind me. Or is that a saved hostage? You know what, it's fine. Looking for a particular door. This one ought to do. Dare you call for the backup! That's called using your head. There doesn't appear to be anybody in here. It's not a bomb. Uh. That is a... Yeah, this suit has no wrinkles. Yep. Shotgun pickup. then. It appears to smart it. Stop that. There's no checkpoint here, so... Let's try going... This way. Nice open floor plan. Hmm. Where are you shooting from? Ah, there it is. Try this one. Wait a second. I was just here. I think you have the high ground, do you? How did that not work? Excuse me. Where else was someone shooting at me? There he is, down there. Well, there's another side of the stairs. Lights out, chump! There appears to be another hostage situation. I'll do anything! Alarm! How did I miss? Oh, I ran out of. Think heavens you came! Yes, well, I'm looking for the next bomb. Do you know what it is? Of course not. Well, I have no armor. That will be a very big predicament. We have here. Okay, crashers. To be gate cracked. 
You should have hung. Should have hung on longer. You have yourself to blame for that. I appear to be out of ammo. Well, isn't that nice? Ah. Highlander syndrome? I have no idea what that is. That's what you get. Do I have any weapons left? No ammo, no ammo. Well, that's just peachy. Yes, Sean Connery was in the Highlander. It is a rated R movie, yes. Sean Connery's character just couldn't cut it in the Highlander. Ah! No, it's a... It's a pun for the people who've seen the movie. I said he couldn't cut it. Never mind. Sean Connery is no longer with us. Only in spirit. Yes, it's a joke for people who've seen the Highlander movie. And I said, Connery's character couldn't cut it. Never mind. That can be only one. If I told you, it would be a spoiler. What do we have here? Found some rounds. Excellent. Holy poly, roly poly. Did you get dizzy from the roly poly? I need something other than... Never mind. Mm. There's no ammo anywhere else. I don't need that. I need something else. You could give me shotgun shells, you know. Well, that's something. Grenades, very nice. We're about to have a blast. Ha! Ah. This is back where I came from. I want to go this way, I want to go this way. Appeared to be here already. Right. Nope, been here. You missed the 007 games? They were fun. an exit entrance I suppose wait no that's wrong still wrong the buildings entrance is over oh boy I 
anyone else see a bomb anywhere? I don't. PD rounds. Just the bomb here. Checkpoint would be nice. Only roll a couple times. How did you miss? Well, that's one way to damage a computer. Excuse me. Finally got rid of Mr. Radio Man. I can deal with this bomb in peace, perhaps. James. No one's coming. No one's coming. Two bombs left. Magazine around this floor. What exactly are you coming from? You like to try again? Might be a good spot. What exactly are you shooting? hanging from the ceiling. He's around the corner. How can you even see me? Stupid targeting system. Sometimes the targeting system just does not work. What? What exactly are you? Right, this is definitely getting annoying. He's up there. He's down below. Light body armor. That was so much for stealth. Tad annoying there, son. Any bombs here? Yes, there is one. One more bomb to go, and then checkpoint. Probably. Well, listen, this a curious thing. Locked and loaded. 
appears that I am surrounded. Someone likes to pull glass out of their shorts. Well, that's not right. Nothing to see here. Just disarming some bombs is all. Enjoy breaking glass. Getting on my nerves. Shooting the Muda. Why aren't you shooting? There are you of them. Yes, well, that's what you get. Any more? Not quite. It's a locked room, of course it is. Come on then. Anyone else? That's what I thought. I just saw movement on the other side. All right, we'll use the helicopter. Come on, Wally Bud. Why aren't you not letting me use that? Incredibly dangerous. Help Bob, it's just didn't even have. Where's the door? Yes, yes, yes. We need to use a more. Well, this is peachy. Excellent. I'd say mission successful, yes. Uh oh. What do you think you're doing? Better be a checkpoint. And where is the final bomb?
I supposed to know about the final bombers? Excuse me. Has any of you seen the final bomb? Is that a no? Not seeing a way up there. No, that's not going to be very helpful, Mr. Bond. What do we have here? A secret door. This is just a... Never mind. Well, now we're in big trouble. Just won't get upstairs. Yes, I found the secret. That's fine and dandy, but how do I get upstairs? This is very helpful if I can't make it upstairs. There's nothing here. Wait. There is no, um, no staircase. This is a bit different. Be it away upstairs. Dark on shells. I would just monkey bot up that thing and climb up. It won't let me. this at all. This doesn't make any sense. How oh, blasted am I supposed to get up there? Bond can't go up? What stupidity is this? Is 
Now I see. Nice of you to finally show a way up that. What exactly is the bomb? to disable a bomb here. You're a dead man. We're both dead. Mm. Well, at least I know how to get up there now. Well, that was a bit annoying now, wasn't it? Things I do to save the world. The silver lining is, at least we made the checkpoint. I'm not wasting any more bullets. Where's my watch? Well, that's great. Form. Well done, Mr. Bob. You would not be able to fit a helicopter in there. Destroy the helicopter. Uh, appears I'm full up. Anything else in here? Exactly, did you fire your blasted bazooka? Ouch, ouch. Mm, very nice. That's just not what I want. Uh, I'm throwing a grenade at him. Oof! Was a bit of a predicament. All right, Mr. Helicopter. See how you do with round two. This is as fast as I run. Oh, 
Are you a stormtrooper or a Russian? Ouch! I'll take that, thank you. It's locked, however, get out! Exactly, is this supposed to work? I appear to be out of rockets. Well, that's just great. Well, double O, you seem to be in a bit of a. There's nothing else in here. Going to die. More or less. Whoa! Don't just roly poly hide behind the walls. But I love roly poly. Getting annoyed. Oh, come on then. Okay, one with the loot off. Oh, so much for the grenades. Come on, then. That's not working. Pick me up. Oh, 
Well, that didn't work. One apparently hates pillow. Already a wally bod. Gonna shoot him down with a Walter PBK. I don't think so. Anything else we can use here? There we go. Trouble here. Uh oh. Where did your gun go, sir? What? Get out. Oh, we're doomed. Ah! That didn't work. We start out with the machine gun. My favorite appella. Not even Change of clothes. Mm -hmm. Come on, then. Give me the ammo. Yes. More. How much ammo are you going to give me? Do a little more. It's unlimited. It's like magic. My goodness, how many rounds can I get? Oh, it's full at 160, I see. Way too rough. Oh, I'm going to even the odds. Give 
Smash! I won't. Not hiding behind the cover. Man, it's so tasty. Where the heck are you shooting, Bob? with you. Maybe we'll stock up on ammo now. Almost there. Almost there. Seriously checking your watch, Mr. Bond. Smashing! Great work, Bob. Well, thanks, Karim. But the question remains. Why did the Russians decide to go to war now? I wonder if my arrival had something to do with it? Maybe yes, maybe no. Perhaps we need to look in on the Russian country and find out who's behind the attacks. It's time to spy on the spies. Time to spy on the spies. Yes, that's fine. Let's do one more mission. There's quite a lot of missions in this game, actually. Let's get to the Russian consulate. Before the locals start asking questions, we don't have answers for. Good idea. There's an underground waterway that leads to a cistern from where we can spy on them. But first, we have to get past a Russian checkpoint. We'll pick up some uniforms at my son's house. Another family business? In my world, blood is the best security. Yes, and let's not try to spill any more of it. Yes, more driving. Whoops! You again? Looks like we picked up some company again. Oh, the traffic in this city is longer. Well, what did you think was going to happen now? Rather annoying. That's not bad. I was 
just hoping for a nice evening drive. My car looking like this. This is not how I intended things to go. I'm sorry. Tired him out. Oh. That's not really a hard turn. We're close to the safe house. My son has the uniforms we need. This is not exactly what I was trying to do. Hurry, sir! The uniforms are in that container! Over there! I still look the same. Well, that's unexpected. Objective destroyed the car before it escapes. We have to disable our enemies before we can proceed, my friend. What exactly is it? Well, that was rude. Car seen better days. Excuse me. Don't think for your friend. Have you seen him? Never mind, I found him. You can't go any faster, can it? Oh. This car does not drive very well. Let me go this time. bad they are destroying your car my friend haste is the order of the day that's not Watch where you're going. Really, the driver's in Istanbul. I 
this lane. I don't get stopped by the police from having a tail light out. I might say that I'm not a very safe motorist. around in circles. Yes, you are. Really just driving around and around and around. Shooting a missile at me. Why? What exactly is this Russian checkpoint? the shells all day. Seriously? Pardon me! I'm going around in circles. I am going around in circles. Ouch. Well, the car's seen better days. That's not right. Bless you.
Just assault rifle just laying around. <laughs> this doesn't look suspicious at all. Armory key. slideshows. Alright, there we go. Bothered me. That's Redania. Here's the canal. We follow it to a cistern that takes us to the surveillance room under the consulate. I'll give you a hand with the boat. Stay here, and I'll get the winch. There they are! Kill them! Well, that puts a damper on things. So much for being inconspicuous. Oh! You love James Bond games? This entire base is crawling with Russians. I just lowered it. Where is he at? Oh. in the wall
That ought to do it. Now how in the world am I supposed to deal with the minigun? Minigun out. to do with the man with the machine gun. Assault rifle. Bazooka, perhaps. Even harder. You just shot me with a bazooka. Well, that worked. No, but insane. That's not right. On focus isn't really working very well. Might be just because this controller's so old. The only issue I'm having with this game is it's not letting me aim very much. Hi Casey, how's it going? Isn't there like a jacket or something out here? No. No 
jacket. This game is classic? Yeah, it is. Yeah, the aiming in this game just doesn't work sometimes. When you really need it to work, it doesn't want to work. As much as I want to keep playing this game tonight, I gotta go to bed. It's a lot of fun, though. Uh, where are we? I don't even know how to exit. Um, there we go. All right, so there you go, people. That is uh, James Bond 007 from Russia with Love. Game came out in 2005. It was on PS2, Xbox, and GameCube. This was the GameCube edition. Uh, game's a lot of fun. Thank you again to Ultimate Member David for sponsoring the VIP stream. Tomorrow's VIP stream will be Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions. Uh, I forget what stream number we're on, but I'm going to go make that stream and um, take care of that. But thank you so much for watching, everybody. Have a wonderful night, and um, I will see you tomorrow. Until then, God bless, happy gaming, have a great night.